I've sunk an enemy. Play a day swift as the stormy wind. Through the seas, can the ship only win. Torpedoes align with deadly flare. She goes unseen through the smoke so dead. Her guns blaze knots through the watery floor With a heart of steel and a silent howl She strikes with grace the seas on foul Hey, team, this is Ripper here for you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Hayate, and I haven't done a review on this in a while, and I know it, uh, I think, recently got a buff uh, several months ago. I can't remember when, uh, but it was actually a buff that people had requested and needed to make it a little bit more viable gunboat. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a very good gunboat, and I call it the more of the Japanese gearing in my play style. But before we begin, if you guys think we're doing a great job here and you like what we're doing and want to support the channel, like the subscribe button below. Appreciate all the support. As always, uh, I love the community, building great uh, friendships and just having great discussions. And again, I try to make this a better place. I mean, I, even out, even me out there, still people uh, dishing out a lot of toxic hate and uh, we don't need that here. We're, we're trying to build a good community. We're a lot mature. We're trying to make it a better professional place and having a good time doing it. As always, thank you for helping me do that. And as always, um, uh, let me know what we can do better in the comments below and uh, let's get right to it talking about the Hayate I think there's a couple of reviewer requests about this and uh, a lot of people had asked hey What is the Hayate to me? Honestly the way I play it is the uh, it's kind of like a gearing uh, Which I mean it's got guns. It's got torpedoes It's got the smoke and it even has a reload booster for the torpedoes because they are kind of a long reload I've built this for guns as you can see uh, but uh, before, let's get into the battle actually so before we begin what do we always do as a good destroyer player we're going to take a look at the battle lineup so we have a, a carrier obviously a hate carrier CV cancer of the game you don't need it it's an anti-ship system I don't hate it you have a submarine here also hate it it's an anti-ship system so I enjoy this center right here Brisbane we have a 12 kilometer radar which we're going to do with and we also are outgunned by the Sherman Haragumo and Yu Yang Lang, we're not too worried about. Those kinds are like kind of like ships like us, the the Japanese, you know, Navy kind of uh, ship play style. Again, see the carrier just perma spotting me. Hopefully, the carrier rework uh, eliminates this problem. Uh, but we're gonna kind of choose our battles wisely. And I already know the Sherman's at Charlie, as you can see right there on the mini map. Again, always use a blow up the mini map. Take a look at what your uh, where your enemy's at, and you got two destroyers over Yu Yang and Sherman. You do not want to play with that in the Hayate. I don't think as as they tout the Hayate as a gunboat, you don't want to... I, I personally think you shouldn't go one-on-one -on -one in a Hayate. I think the guns are great, but you don't have a heal. You don't have the health to really to dish out and to deal with that, especially the Sherman has a little bit more health than you. And, of course, you have the Haraguma, which has way more health than you if you build for it. So, and the, gun, the Haraguma definitely outguns the Hayate. I actually prefer the Haraguma over the Hayate. Now, if you're looking for that all-around destroy gunboat mentality like the gearing uh i think the hayate uh, especially with the new buff really uh makes it a good a good viable option now and i think it's really good what are we doing over here i got the rpf indicator no and it, uh, there he is so i knew there was something in here the rpf was indicated when there's exactly why we reverse and back in and forward out of the cap you've got hot torpedoes coming at us but i know the Har the haraguma is very very slow it is not a good maneuverable ship it's like a big cruiser or mini cruiser if you want to call that and ooh 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 and boom, look at that. Splash one right off the bat. Devastating strike on the Haragumo. And that's exactly why you got to be careful with the Haragumo sitting in smoke. It's not the most maneuverable. You can't just j throttle juke, get in and out of dodge. I've noticed the engine, man, I feel like the Haragumo's engine got nerfed or something. It just doesn't perform like you would. At least the Hayate, the Shimikaze, Gearing, Daring, even Daring, the British style destroyers really can accelerate in and out of caps and, uh, and juke in and out of smoke. I don't like this is very uncomfortable for me right now sitting in the smoke because well, as i've always taught smoke is a torpedo magnet and I, i'm only doing this because i've analyzed the situation i've gone like okay there's nothing that's too a threat i have backup i have a minotaur and a sherman here only one haraguma most people like most likely do not push the center caps right off the bat so i'm, I'm comfortable here because I, I tested the waters of charlie i pushed back out went to bravo uh, because I know I can't go one-on-one -on -one with the Sherman or any other destroyer over there, especially two destroyers, because I have a Shimakaze. All those Shimakazes are great stealth tor torpedo boats. They really don't support you as a gunboat. So I'm not going to pick a fight with a Yu, Yu Yang and a Sherman. Pretty heavy gunboats with heavy support over here and a carrier spotting me. So we kind of chose that battle. We went to Bravo instead. 
Now let's talk about what the Hayate while we're moving in position here. Hayate, what is it good at? Really, it's actually a decent gunboat. 127 millimeter, 3.3 second. Um, the velocity of the shells, 915 meters per second. So very quick shells, decent arc angles. Penetration of the 21 millimeter. So we're not too worried about under penetrating uh, certain destroyers. So good there. The recommended build says the peeled out for uh, range, but I don't like that. I kind of like this close-in gun battles. And oh, here we go. We, here's a demonstration of the shells. Man, it's, the, the aiming on this thing is really weird these days. I mean, I'm leading the targets, and they're just not hitting them. And look at that gunboat power right there. 2,800 damage, 2,000. So these guns are not weak pea shooters. They actually do decent damage. I don't know what happened there. I think I got hit by the thunder, and that's exactly why you want to push in these engagements too, too aggressively. And then Sherman's shooting us, and boom, flash two right off the bat right there. We eliminate another destroyer. We picked our battles, and notice that we went undetected immediately because we're out of the range of our our, our guns, and I, that's why I don't like building long-range guns anymore because I would have continuously been spot by something way, way out there. But 11.6 kilometers, as soon as I get out of 11.6 or somebody else, my guns uh, are silenced. I go undetected unless you have a carrier perma spotting you which again, I hate. Maneuverability on the Hayate is fairly decent. Uh, I would say standard for a destroyer. It's nothing too cosmic, nothing too great. It, it can do what it can. And look, we're taking, and again, perma spotted, and I popped smoke thinking I could have shot this uh, Thunderer, but he's behind an island. So I didn't see that uh, that island in the way. Ooh, I get hit by a torpedo. Unnecessary damage right there. So the problem with this is you don't have any heals. That's the thing. So you got to play your, your ship very, very conservatively. And unfortunately, I don't see anybody to shoot at. And I popped the smoke prematurely right there. So bad on me. Uh, the torpedoes, uh, kind of like standard Japanese torpedoes, like 12 kilometer uh, range. Uh, good damage. 67 knots, kind of like a gearing kind of speed-ish. Reaction time is not so great. Again, you can spot these torpedoes pretty far out. 9.5 second reaction time is fairly uh, a good amount of time. Now here's a here's the benefit of the uh, the Hayate is that torpedo reload booster. So you can launch ten torpedoes right off the bat, go at twelve kilometers, right, which is not a bad distance. I think twelve is fairly decent to get out to the reach the Soviet uh, radar range. And then you got you have the reload booster uh, ready to go right there, as you can see, and launch another ten right there. So you can launch twenty torpedoes. So decent for what it needs to do, and uh, for what I'm requesting for in a torpedo all around destroyer gunboat. <clears throat> so. Wow, I mean, it does what it needs to do. It, it, it suffices that role uh, pretty well, and uh, let's speed up here. And for what it can, um, I'm asking for it, it, again, this is that multi-role all around this torpedo gunboat. Uh, it's, it's just a very good gearing, and in my personal opinion, for the Japanese line. And it does what I need to do. Nothing too cosmic, nothing too underperforming. And uh, yeah, I think it's great. The speed is awesome. I mean, it goes, uh, let's see here. It can go up to 39 knots with the engine boost. It goes to 41. And here we go. We got duking it out with a Sherman. This is exactly why I did not want to duke it out with a Sherman. He has a way better DPM than I do. But the cool thing is I have support. And boom, splash three. And the guns in the back, they're the two uh, dual-purpose guns are in the back. So I can actually retreat and have two guns shooting behind me, which is why I think the role is is more of that kiting, running away, go undetected, and you can start shooting in the back kind of tail gunner mentality. And I think it does a good job in that regard. Uh, now, when we're farming battleships, that's what you need the smoke for. And uh, really, uh, for even with Fearless Brawler, you're getting a two and a half second reload. I think that's what the buff really uh, allowed it to do was get a little bit better DPM reload. So it, it can be that kind of gunboat that you need it to be when you're asking for it. And boom, way to go there, Shimakaze. Again, man, having two Japanese torpedo boats out in the, the flank is devastating. So uh, we're only at 50,000 damage. We killed three players and we did what we had to do. Uh, for uh, for what we're asking, and uh, that's all we can really, uh, you know, honestly, just spot torpedo and gunboat when you need to. And here's that, here's coming that gunboat action right there. See, and this is kind of kind of what you're expecting. So if you're on the, uh, I don't know if the Hayate. Uh, forgive me, I, I'm off the top of my head. I do not know what the Hayate is um, available for anymore. Uh, I think it's an armory. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll look at it at the end, and uh, we'll take a look at it. But. Uh, yeah, really, the the Hayate is still viable, in my personal opinion. And let me know in the comments, but I, I think it's still available for the Armory. I don't think this was some kind of dockyard event or anything, but I think it's still available. So if you're on the fence, if you want to take a look at the Hayate, let me know. If it's not available, forgive me. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll somebody asked me to take a look at the Hayate again as a gunboat for the Japanese line, and I'm just taking a look at it here. It starts fires like any other uh, DD gunboat is. And uh, let's take a look at it. How does it, how's it working on the Wisconsin here? So... Yeah, we're in smoke. He's got no radar support, so pretty much we can just start fires, and yeah, we're ticking up that damage right there, and uh, we're just going to go back and forth throttle juke. Now, I'm trying to shoot at the, the bow and try to start a third fire. That's the, the sweet spot to shoot right there is start another fire, and probably has a good prevention here. 
Although two of his superstructures are on fire, so he doesn't fire prevention. Oh, we knocked him out right there with the fire damage. Oh, he gets a nice hit on us right there. So uh, overall, what are my opinions of the Hayate? I think it's a great, uh, honest, I would prefer this over Shimakaze, definitely. I don't like playing Shima at all, but if I had to choose, I would pick Hayate. Harugumo is probably still a better gunboat for DPM-wise, but maneuverability is, doesn't do as well for Hayate. I think the Hayate is a little bit better. Uh, more of that all-around uh, destroyer torpedo gunboat build. I still think is very viable. I, I, I enjoy it. AA is trash. I can see Hikari is hunting me down. Four kills, 84,000 damage in uh, the first 10 minutes of the game right there. And... Um yeah, my personal opinion, I recommend it. I, I like it way more than Shema. Um, I, uh, would I prefer this over Harugumo? If I wanted to play like a gearing, yes. If I want to play more of a gunboat, I'd pick Harugumo all day long uh, still. So that's my thought on it. I still think it's okay. 24,000 HP is the standard you know, gearing kind of a level um, HP for me. And uh, it does very well. Very speedy. He's got the engine boost and the reload boost. So very, very definitely recommend Hayati now with the extra buff. And I think it's a very good, viable torpedo gunboat. So as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, hope you're doing well. Like, subscribe, button below if you want to support the channel. And at 4,000 subs, we're going to do another premium giveaway. Top two in the team right there. Very good. And let's see what kind of detailed report we did. 153 shells, 42,000 damage. Great. Torpedo damage as well. Good fires and uh, flooding. And, uh, yep, we got a eh, sh mm, crappy AA, but it did something right there. So we did a good job. We went out there and spotted the enemy as well. Uh, did some spotting damage. Uh, and we went out there and uh, did the best we could. Again, we can't do too, too much as a full-up gunboat with against, like, a Sherman or a Kabroth or Harugumo. But we did get a surprise on the Gumo. So, anyways... That's my thought and take on it. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, hope you guys are doing well. If you see me out there, say hi. And as always, Bill will be at the end of the video. And again, let me know what is... Uh, I'll, I'll check afterwards, uh, see if this uh, ship is still available in the Army. But uh, correct me and let me you know, let everybody else know in the comments what this ship is available for, uh, if it's still available in the Army, as always. So hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you next time. Cheers.